It is Gigi Berardi, and I am reading from page six of Foodwise tonight. Some of us revel in the act of parsing truth from all the contradictions. I believe that carefully looking at information from a range of studies, experiments, and practices, while investigating our own physical and emotional responses, allows us to productively question food beliefs and habits and come to better conclusions for ourselves. Marketing, current research, family traditions, and beliefs about good and bad foods determine what we buy, how we cook it, and our overall diet. Diet, in its basic sense, the usual foods we eat, not a particular eating prescription. We need to take control of shaping those beliefs, taking advantage of what science can tell us, while acknowledging the complexity of the decision. Maybe if we can figure out the right choices for ourselves, we'll gain the power to change our whole lives just through our food. As I navigate the new places my plate takes me, I want to follow my own ethical beliefs about the agricultural web. Learning from my personal experiences while taking into account as much science grounded fact as I can. I'm not sure a principled and experiential approach like this will make me or any of us happy and long lived, but it can at least make us more knowledgeable, satisfied consumers when we recognize and truly question our own fierce food beliefs. The next section of the book is called Experience and Food Wise. But I'm going to stop now because I want to give a shout out to two articles. One article from the New York Times is on CSAs in California and how they are booming now. So that is a very food wise moment. People are not going shopping uh, out, uh, rather, they are getting their deliveries in with all the proper precautions being taken at this time. And the food boxes are still about $40 for one of the more basic boxes um, a week, 40 to $42. And uh, I'll have a link to that article. And uh, the other article though is from the Washington Post on, uh, on food banks and how food banks and food pantries are not doing very well in this time of coronavirus. And uh, volunteer numbers are way down and uh, so are donations. Donations, restaurants, they're even from supermarkets, there seems to be less waste, uh, much less, less household waste. Uh, at the same time, there is some federal assistance available to stretch, um, income transfer dollars. And so I'm going to have a link to that article as well.